Hello, welcome to Shirley's World. As you know, I have recently changed my channel's name from Shirley Reads to Shirley's World as I started vlogging my travel experience. If you are keen on history, the vlogs may interest you. And please subscribe to my channel and leave your comments. Without much ado, let's review the book None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. I'm going to tell the story of two women. If you just want the review and not the narration of the story, please listen to the review chapter on this video. Let's get into the story. The first women are the primary character Josie met Walter in her teenage and married him at 19. Josie is timid and not good with people. She's been leading a boring life for almost 25 years. And the story starts from here. Josie and her husband go for a dinner for celebrating Josie's uh, 45th birthday and they see a group of people celebrating a woman named Alex Summer's 45th birthday too. Josie immediately starts thinking she might be her twin sister. She immediately stalks her on Instagram to get to know her. Josie finds Alex is a famous podcaster. She interviewed women who have crafted their life beautifully from bad men, from mental health issues, uh, from tragedy, from illness, from war. These women fell rose up and found goals they did not know they had. Josie is jealous of Alex's life and obsessed with it. Out of the blue, she had an idea that she wanted to tell her story to Alex and make a podcast about her. She finds Alex's children go to the same school as hers. She intentionally bumps into Alex at school. She asks if she has ever thought about interviewing someone who is about to change their life. Alex eventually agreed to do the podcast. Okay then, during the podcast, when Alex finds out Josie's been married to a 40 plus man at her teenage years, the interest been growing by the minute. Walter left his wife and married to the teenager Josie at his early 40s. When Alex when sorry, when Josie started talking about her children, I felt something was off. Alex is keen on knowing what's happening, so am I. At one point, she realizes Josie has been hiding some dark secrets. It is apparent she's been keeping people out of her business because there is something going behind the closed doors. I enjoy reading this a lot. Then, in the middle of one night, Josie pops into Alex's place after an incident happened at her house. Please read it yourself to see what the incident is. Alex couldn't say no to visitors. She welcomes her and consoles her like a good human. And Josie living with Alex for a few days. Nobody likes her at Alex's place. Josie learns Alex's life is luxurious with an alcoholic husband and her marriage is on the verge of breaking. I will let you guys read the rest of the story, how Josie controls Alex's mind while being with her. I think I am pretty bad at narrating, like it's not a thriller but it is. It is one of the top thrillers I have read so far. There is no hint of it's going to be a thriller just after reading 30 pages but it gradually progresses with suspense. You know, when you read that something bad has happened, but the story would never tell what it was, that kind of story. Uh, it will let you have your imagination, but don't let your hopes up. My imagination went so, so wrong. It was totally unpredictable. I thought I predicted right while reading. I think everyone does the same. There are quite a few trigger warnings. Pedophile, abusive parents and kleptomaniac. Can I consider kleptomaniac as a trigger warning? I don't think so. Anyway, Josie is weird. Josie may look innocent, but she is capable of purchasing a machine gun one day and commit mass murder against Alex's family. But remember the title always. Likewise, when I read Erin's room was stinking, I was under the impression Erin was already dead or murdered. But you know, none of this can be true. It's raining here. I think summer is officially cancelled in Glasgow. No, Scotland. Okay. Back to the story. Josie is like, uh, when she sees an opportunity, she will go with it. Like from Walter to Alex now. Sometimes I couldn't believe how the famous podcaster could fall for the sympathetic story of a stranger. The ending is little off. But Lisa Jewell has succeeded in creating flawed, unlikable character in Josie that makes it hard to root for the happy ending. At the end of the story, I realized Josie was not a leech, but still it was unclear what was true. Anyway, 
None of this true can be bizarre and nonsensical at times. Then that's all. Have a happy reading. I will meet you guys in another episode. Until then, a lot of love and happiness.